uh, I'm just going to start like uh, this is a special day and uh, on this special day like uh, we know that like uh, uh, we are moving toward engineering and we are now uh, developing many product in India. To make the product development better, uh, we need a show a skill set in some of the technology. In one of the technology, we find that in the integration layer, uh, Kafka is used extensively. Uh, then I am going to introduce some of the key component in the Kafka, which it is used like architectures and component, like uh, huge case, like uh, in your industry, uh, where you are working, what are the huge case you are going to use it. Uh, like different concept, like we know that uh, different consumers and your design pattern is also there for producer and consumers. Uh, like message concept, like uh, message, like uh, there's a topic and queue concept, but in this we are going to use the topic concept. And this was the concept like security. And at the end, uh, I want everybody to make hand dirty. I have included the instruction and I also uh, will do parallel uh, hands on. In this way, uh, it brings confidence in you. And uh, I will be doing on the core Kafka. Like Kafka is having many complaints. Uh, one of the contributor or confluent is one of the company which uh, has contributed 99.9% uh, uh, for the Kafka. Uh, why Apache Kafka? Like uh, uh, in the LinkedIn, like uh, uh, they were working on the problem, but uh, they have got many message integration system. And uh, when they ingest, they were finding the problem. Uh, at that point of time, like they started their own new company, Confluent. Uh, and the whole world ecosystem is moving to distributed environment. Then something which resolves the issue of the distributed environment, resilient architectures, like we know that uh, in the software, there is always chance of failure and we want our application to keep on running it uh, uh, work all day and it should be fault tolerant. We know that like uh, vertical scalability was the issue in Kafka in distributed environment work around horizontal scalability. Uh, it can scale uh, uh, hundreds of brokers and uh, in the message like 1 million message it can be consumed in a second. Now like uh, uh, with some of the criteria, like we can also increase this uh, message in just in a second. And it is high performance. And now we see that uh, in the messaging system, in the distributed environment, like uh, some of the company like LinkedIn, Walmart, Netflix, even my labs, like we are working with the different customers. And previous to my company, like I was working in IoT company in United Technology. It is a product development from India. Uh, we were extensively use Kafka. Uh, what is Kafka? Like, uh, uh, as we said, it, it is a distributed, all tolerant, uh, public and subscribe system. It records message organized into topics. Like there was a concept of Q and topic, and we see the detail in the topic, like it could have the multiple producer and consumers. Uh, uh, more detail uh, with the uh, uh, diagram, I have covered later. Uh, I will talk more on that. Uh, all messages are stored in a log. It is persistent. Like if we want to change the message, it cannot be changed. Uh, it is immutable, what we call in the Java. And it is a right ahead law. Kafka is nothing but a right ahead law uh, that write all published messages. Uh, Kafka was built with the flowing goal in the mind. Like when they were working on that, uh, uh, we wanted to know that multiple producers will be coming. Some of the producers is going down. What we see resilient architectures, 
and multiple consumers uh, they want to want to read the data in that case uh, uh, consumers to come into the picture and if some other application want to read the data somebody who is not talking they can in the middle and uh, this is a persistent we know that to support a variety of data nee. consumption scenario ah ek ek portal ho la raha hai if you are not speaking could you please put on the mute and it is having maximum end to end output and low latency component uh, manage diverse data like uh, data format can be uh, different data format and now uh, we see that uh, grtc uh, jd standard uh, uh, different data format is coming and even in the amazons there is in different data format and internally use uh, binary data format for the transformation uh, and a scaling server lit, uh, linearly without affecting the existing clusters like if we have got the cluster 5 we can scale to cluster 10 uh, and it can be easily done uh, moving back like uh, uh, if uh, you see the uh, Olymp Olympic, you always find uh, somebody from the back, and some year the new athlete will win the race. Similar to that, like uh, uh, many messaging system is there. We wanted to know uh, why Kafka is fast. Uh, Kafka is fast because uh, uh, in place of using the RAM, they use the caching mechanism, and uh, it read like uh, for the reading, it will do the network socket and it is zero copy uh, principle and zero copy principle we talk about like uh, uh, for transferring the message generally what up in like application contest kernel contest uh, uh, for all things it will come to the application contest uh, it will take dma and cpu copy Uh, they have uh, put in a better context, and same thing uh, when we say it is zero copy, it it will reduce the time, and due to this, uh, the data will be transferred faster. Uh, this is the beauty of the Kafka, uh, where uh, it is faster. And combination of On Kafka cluster, where the consumer are mostly caught up, you will see no read activity on the disk as they will be serving data internally from the cache. Uh, moving uh, uh, when this Kafka is formed, like uh, as I mentioned, like lately they were facing that problem, and if we see the uh, legacy architectures. Then, uh, just for the example sake, and to make the understanding better. Uh, i have just taken four for system as six target system we need to integrate like uh, six into four uh, 24 integration and eight integration what we find like uh, protocol some of the tcp https rest ftp uh, jdbc now we are seeing that uh, uh, graph ki, uh, qn and now uh, you are seeing that uh, grpc like uh, when the application does not want to communicate outside why not we use grpc data format uh, similar like binary csv json avro xml uh, different data format different schema is having like kafka itself follow the uh, schema is and each source system will have increased load from the connection to solve this problem uh, uh, what Kafka has that internal Kafka core system come into the picture. Topic is created and uh, it can handle that uh, abstracting uh, pricing data which is used in the financial market, financial transaction, user interaction, audit. Uh, it can interact any upstream and the downstream application. Uh, where we the source system is known as source and the target system is known as a sim. 
the many connectors are also written. Uh, with this beauty, like uh, Kafka in the distributed environment, uh, it has become more mature and it solves many problems. Uh, coming back to architectures, like uh, we know that like uh, uh, learning any story, we have to learn and learn and re relearn. For this also, like uh, how Kafka was there, like uh, how node come into the picture, broker come into the picture, zookeeper come into the pictures. And uh, just to give this part, like uh, uh, it will make the understanding better. I will go back. Like it is having the producers, producers producer push the message uh, to the Kafka ecosystem. To manage the Kafka, it was a zookeeper ecosystem it managed and it is having the broker id again it is having the consumer consumer they create a group producer produce the message and consumer uh, pull the message then uh, uh, it wants to say that kafka cluster is mainly composed of one or more nodes a typical kafka cluster consists of multiple brokers it helps in load balancing messages, read and write of the clusters. Each of these broker is a stateless, like uh, uh, if you see the distributed technology like Docker and Kubernetes, like uh, to communicate, uh, that does not want to maintain the state. It can be uh, rebuilt at any time, uh, resilient to the failure. Uh, resilient to the failure, uh, that's why our most of the application has to be stateless. Uh, how would they use Zookeeper to maintain their state? Internally, uh, we use that. Each topic partition has one of the broker as a leader and zero or more broker as a follower. Uh, there is a concept of like, uh, I will just uh, drill down to make a better understanding. Like, uh, uh, like Kafka, we always have that partition and the replication factor. Uh, if you see partition 0, partition 1, partition 3, like when we created the topic, we uh, given the topic with three partition and how much uh, uh, replication factor we want to give. On the basis of that, this is created. Then Kafka, the beauty is that uh, it's built on the concept of uh, 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 partition and topic you can partition uh, uh, to the end number and they have uh, uh, not uh, given any number uh, uh, it uh, have both advantage or disadvantage like uh, uh, with one partition or with uh, 20 or different partition this can be decided uh, in any organizations uh, by that uh, enterprises architect or the business analyst who is working on this and leader manage any read and write request on the respective partition and follower replicate the leader in the background without actively interfering with working. Uh, you should think of follower as a backup of the leader and one of the follower will be chosen as a leader in the case of any failure. Uh, moving forward, like uh, as I mentioned, like uh, in the ecosystem, uh, like uh, with the new versions, uh, like uh, Confluent, uh, they want to uh, reduce the Jew peoples and uh, they are coming with their own architectures. Uh, they have still not put in the productions, uh, but they are working on that part. And uh, end of this years or uh, the next years, uh, they want to put into the productions. And but the old application will be working on the Jew people who want to migrate to the new application. Then they can move to that. Uh, uh, coming back to that same architecture, I just want to elaborate more. Like uh, 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 it is uh, Kafka is always dependent on the zookeeper, and in the input uh, system, what type of message like log aggregation, matrix, like in the project, many KPI there, batch import, audit, user activity log, web log. And some of the pa not part of the Kafka core is like a schema registry. Kafka REST proxy, Kafka Connect, Kafka Stream, 
these are the multiple component it is created to solve the other problem and apache kafka code is a broker script script to start library script to start zookeeper uh, we can see this in the demo part also util to create topics utility to monitor the stack we can see that and in the output system we talk about uh, uh, analytics we talk about database like uh, uh, from the kafka topic uh, uh, like we see that the data lake is there all the uh, data report is created using that if they want to see now we see that everything is dependent on machine learning they want to create a model uh, they want to so the dashboard it will be do uh, done that and output system like uh, uh, lucent search engine is there or if you want to put the data into any search engine or uh, then we can use with that and business intelligence then uh, in this like whatever the activity we want to for input output systems and uh, ingestion happen on the input output system it will put uh, on the desired a storage area uh, moving forward like any application we take uh, it has to solve the problem and what are the problem it solves like uh, scalability uh, we see that uh, retention like uh, kafka uh, when you put the data into the topic automatic it will retain for the seven days uh, and uh, many attributes are defined into the zookeeper properties and kafka properties file then durability oh, once you write the data it cannot be lost uh, replications like we seen that like uh, creation on the topic in the command also we see uh, uh, in place of dependent on one server go down you can replicate the same in multiple server uh, kafka is secure like uh, any uh, authentication framework like o or other any uh, like if you worked on the mvc framework basic authentication it can be done resiliency we have already seen like uh, in place of uh, it will take care uh, it is having high throws put like uh, the like bit uh, we have seen that uh, or uh, within a second it can uh, process process are ingest like uh, more than millions of records uh, it will maintain the order uh, uh, it talked about the order can be only maintained into the partitions it cannot be maintained into the topic topic is created and suppose that five partition is there like each finger then within the partition it can be ordered uh, exactly one semantic like uh, 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 producer and consumer like uh, in the advance uh, if somebody having the knowledge he can look into that like uh, uh, you can make that message can be read only one generally in the banking transaction like uh, uh, when we transfer the money from one users to another users or uh, uh, many use case like uh, uh, when uh, like indian government is using the aadhaar and uh, uh, for doing that transaction we need exactly one time it can handle the transition uh, item potency like whatever data it is written it will remain same it cannot be changed due to the immutability and it is forward compat compatibility like that what does it find in the schema registry if you do any changes like uh, uh, before like uh, telephone system was there then later on mobile systems come into the pictures or uh, sometimes you add more attributes like uh, uh, office mobile or home mobile it can be uh, forward compatibility uh, moving back like uh, uh, as we see like uh, what are the huge case uh, we are planning to handle that then uh, one of the things like we see it is a messaging system one of the messaging matrix so like uh, if uh, in any organization or the amazons or, uh, or if you see the data mart or like uh, reliance stores or software how many uh, main thing is like uh, support system how many ticket has come or what are the issues working what is 
priority one, priority two, priority three, it can be done that. Uh, website tracking system, like uh, who is, uh, uh, like if anybody is uh, going on the Amazon, you can find that which would interest. Sometimes when you log it, it will provide the detail. Log aggregation, like uh, in the uh, distributed environment, we see that like Docker is running, Kubernetes is running, system is going on a state list. Then whenever log is written, it has to be written in one single point. It can do that. Stream processing, like uh, when we watch the match and it provides all the statistics, uh, like uh, uh, when uh, somebody using the credit card and they, their credit card is misused, then uh, it will do the processing like uh, this issue I have faced like uh, uh, when I gone for visa interview in the Hyderabad and when I was working in the IBM, I was in the meeting and generally I keep my phone downward. And uh, when I see in the message, I see that already transaction was done for three life. But that time, same time you get the alert and uh, it can stop the transaction or you can go for the police case or uh, sometimes uh, if this uh, stream is there they can block the card on this uh, uh, like hdfc bank they say that uh, uh, once it is uh, an usual activity they like uh, shopping i'm looking for 10000 and 30000 i will go then it will block that uh, now we see that everything is event event sourcing and commit log. Uh, moving forward, like uh, uh, we said that it is a producer and consumers, and we have got a uh, Kafka clusters, and multiple uh, producers will be keep on writing identity based on uh, key and value concept, and multiple consumers it will keep on reading. And if you see like if consumer one, consumer two, and consumer three, uh, sometime uh, within the consumer group, you want to read the data more fast, then you create a consumer group and you're running multiple consumer in that. And suppose that you are running outside, then it will read the uh, same data can be read by the different uh, applications. And uh, uh, each is a separate consumer group, like consumer one, separate consumer group, consumer two, separate consumer group. Then it is uh, uh, in a cluster, like you've got a broker and uh, inside that partition is there. Then due to this, like multiple producers and consumer, Kappa works with the topic. It is not having a concept of the queue. Uh, you can uh, you can make a topic to the queue uh, for the discussions, uh, but the, what the point of time the topic can be converted into the queue is like when you got like uh, one partition, then uh, you are working as a queue. But that concept is not there. But if you want to recreate, you can do that. Then coming back to the producers, like what uh, we have seen. Previously, like in Kafka, the producer is responsible for sending data to the partition of a topic for which it is producing data. The producer generally does not write data to a partition. It creates write request for the message and send to the reader broker. But partition calculate the hash value of the message which help the producer to choose which partition should be selected. The message with the null can be distributed in the round Robin fashion across partition to ensure when distribution of the message. In Kafka, each partition has a leader and each read write request go through the leader only. So a request to the right message to a partition of a topic will go through the leader broker. The producer wait for the acknowledgement of the message depending on the setting. Generally, it wait until the uh, replication of the particular message. Uh, uh, in this, uh, like there is a thick type of uh, acknowledgement is there. I will forget. Uh, it will wait for the acknowledgement for the single uh, partition, or it will wait for the acknowledgement for uh, all the uh, number of partition. Then uh, one of the attribute uh, parameter which you define in the Kafka dot properties file uh, acknowledgement parameter. Or when you write a uh, customized uh, uh, 
consumer application uh, that time you can write the acknowledgement parameter and uh, 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 it depend like uh, there is always a trade off uh, between latency and throughput uh, with that principle it works i remember that until and unless all the reply uh, have been acknowledged to commit them it will not be available for the read the setting is the default and ensure that a message cannot be lost if the uh, reader broker fails uh, moving forward like uh, uh, what we have seen in the production consumer is also having like uh, uh, it will check through the heart bit like uh, uh, most of the distributed applications work with the concept of the heart bit uh, it is the consumer responsibility to ensure that send regular heart bit signal to the kafka broker consumer group header to confirm their membership and ownership of it designated then generally in the kafka they create internally consumer offset topic and it is used for that purpose if heart beat are not received by the group leader in a message certain time then the partition ownership could be reassigned to some other consumer just see, like a resilient fault tolerant what we read uh, initially it is coming into picture then in the bottom uh, what we talk about consumer offset uh, it talk about that kafka does the track positions or the offset of the message that are read from the consumer application uh, it is the responsibility of consumer application to track their partition offset uh, Uh, when the Kafka was designed, uh, they were saying that if uh, everything I can put on the Kafka, then it will become overhead. Then, uh, like the concept of like loose coupling uh, uh, come into the picture, or uh, uh, solid design pattern is there. Kafka is following that, and that responsibility they have given to the consumer group. This has two advantage. It improves broker performance as they do not have to track each consumer offset. This gives facility to consumer application in managing their offset as per the specific scenario. Now they can commit offset after they finish processing a batch, or they can commit offset in the middle of a large batch processing to reduce the side effect of rebalancing. Uh, rebalancing. Uh, uh, what are the scenarios for the rebalancing? When we are writing the consumer, some of the consumers it is not working like uh, that heartbeat it is checking. Then uh, it will rebalance and it will assign to some others. Suppose that I am working the application uh, ten partition, but I am running five consumers, and uh, I want to increase the throughput. Then at least I can run with the Ten consumer, then that time also rebalance happen. Then uh, now in the rebalance, like uh, before, uh, different rebalance policies are there. Uh, if you does not use the Kafka internally default when they use, but they cannot set all the uh, consumers in a consumers group. They will set for some uh, consumers, another consumer will be running. In this. At no point of time, uh, the consumer is stopped, and it is based on uh, serialization, deserialization concept. Consumer deserialize byte array, like everything is a, as we know, like it is a byte array uh, into the Java object. And uh, as we know, everything is an event in the Kafka. Uh, if what is event, uh, anything happen. A change in the state, like uh, when we are talking, like uh, when we are speaking, or when we are speaking, each is a event. Event is always named in the past tense as it is immutable. A condition that trigger a notification, and some of the common example like customer address change in the date. Uh, suppose that uh, uh, Diwali is, uh, is there, you want to buy the crackers in place of one two crackers to buy. Sales order created like uh, anybody go to the Amazons and he can create that purchase order created. Uh, when we talk about Kafka, we are always talking about partition. Then partition uh, is a st strong consistency. Uh, it is a leader, follower, and controller. Like uh, 
Uh, uh, like depend on the partition, it will do that, and it is having this uh, characteristic of the partitioning. Uh, about like uh, uh, Kafka topic, and depend on that. If Kafka topic is there and partition log is there, it keep on writing on the different partition. And this example, uh, it describes that. Then similar to that, uh, if you uh, go more detail, then you find that it read the data, then it is having the active segment in the partition and they write the data in segment. Uh, uh, coming back to the security, like, uh, uh, currently, any client can access your Kafka clusters authentication. If you want to authenticate, you can do that. Uh, you want to give a particular authorization, you can do that. Then Kafka is uh, having the security framework and we can implement that. Uh, uh, I have just taken two huge cases, like uh, simple story. This topic has a ever growing log. A log is nothing but a list of the five. A mad message is addressed by the log offset. Uh, I'm just being faster because I want to take your demo and there is a time limit. Uh, and the uh, next one is careful transfer like uh, Kafka does not take each log and they uh, send to the topic. They always have a batch. Uh, and that's why Kafka is faster like batch send and receive. Uh, no message caching in the JVM. Rely on the system buffering, zero copy transfer what I have uh, provided the detail and given you the uh, uh, explain you the data also. Uh, moving forward, like uh, once we want to work on this and Kafka, we can go to this particular, we need a Kafka and Kafka is created with the JDK, then we need to uh, install the JDK. Then uh, uh, moving back to this, like uh, uh, I will be uh, go through these slides. Uh, finally, I keep on doing, then you will get the clear idea. Like what point is there? If you're working on the windows, then you can run as a back. If you're working as a units, you can run as a SH. Then uh, uh, in this, I will be uh, doing parallel to both the things, then if I go there and I need to run this command, then uh, to save that time, like already I have in the window, I have written the command, like uh, now I'm running this. Then, then in this way, Jukeeper has run, and if we move forward, uh, then, we have got like Kafka services. After running the Zookeeper, now we have to run the Kafka service. This is a demo purpose. I have uh, uh, got only one server, but uh, if you want to run with the uh, replication factor TV, then in the same server, you can create a different property file. But to keep the demo fast and simple, I'm running with one. Then we need to run the Kafka server. I'm having configuration. Then configuration, I'm not changing anything. We are using default configuration. Then let it keep running. I will just move forward. Then now I have run this. Then if I want to say like it is having any existing topic or not, or not, then I will just check with this command. Check existing topic. I run this command, and these are the different uh, port it is having. Then when it run on the die, uh, our application server, then uh, it run on this port. And when we need to run the command, uh, we have to follow this. Uh, nowadays, in the new version of the Kafka, we are writing bootstrap server. Everything is taken care by the Kafka. Before Jukeeper was there, then Jukeeper server is there. Going back to here, it's a, we do not, do not have anything. Then, then we create a topic and detail of the topic we can see. 
then already I have written a command for you, like we are replication factor one and partition theory, and topic name is Java demo. Then it's a created topic. Uh, it's topic has created or not. If you want to see, then these are the commands to see the detail of the topic. And to check the existing topic, you can check to the existing topics are or not. Then you need to run this command. So initially when we run, we are not having any topic and now topic is created. And uh, what is the beauty of uh, Java is that like, uh, I have created a part temp. In the temp, like you see, Java log is there. Everything will be created with the log. And three partition, it has given the number. Uh, it is having log and checkpoint and metadata, which you can go through in the more detail. It is visible to you. Similar to this, Zookeeper is also having the log, and it will have in the log file, it is a snapshot file. Uh, then this is uh, basic. I'm going to cover some of the advanced time uh, when I want to have the other similar uh, webcast we can do on that time also. Then uh, next thing is detail about the topic. If I want to see the topic detail, then I need to run this command. This it is uh, uh, if you're not able to digest some of the attribute, it is fine because uh, uh, always learning and uh, unlearn and learning, relearn is there. Then some of the things you just buy some of the uh, technical details and some later on you can also Google and learn yourself. Then it say it give the topic name, it give partition, it give who is the leader, uh, zero partition is the leader, who is the replica, uh, and ISR in sync replica, how much I have defined. Then uh, moving forward, uh, I have just taken the screenshot to save the time. And just say initially, when we ran, uh, we have not seen any consumer offset, but later when we run that producer consumer, then that uh, consumer offset will be created. Then this is a command for the consumer. Now I am running the consumer and uh, then I am going to keep the separated uh, uh, hyphen. Then already I have uh, given this command. Consumer, it will, uh, run. it will not show the data. It will not show the data because uh, I'm not running the producer. No data is there. And uh, just uh, from the beginning, we have written. And to identify here, if you see that, uh, uh, there is a double hyphen. When uh, you're giving the double hyphen, then you're going to define the attributes and some of the value. Bootstrap server is giving this again topic, Java topic. Then when you use the attribute, then you always attribute name as a key and value attribute name as a key and value attribute name value it's a, uh, from beginning and for better. Uh, moving back to uh, producer. And then uh, if it is this key separator, then everything like uh, null key is there. Just to make you understand that uh, using the key, uh, and you can find that uh, message is going on the uh, multiple partition.
then uh, when it come with this uh, greater than symbol then i am just writing india and uh, i am just giving hyphen and narayan murti in the uh, some of our technical people in the us they change uh, changing the world they know like i want to give satya nadella and in india uh, i want to give uh, some of the name uh, like uh, ajim premji this beauty for lali just say this is the consumer what the message you are writing in the consumer it will be coming back and this message you does not see because you does not hit the enter button once you hit the enter button it will go to a topic it will read that and again uh, in the us i will take a steep job Uh, now apple company is coming into the picture and we are going to change the world uh, for the iphone this one then uh, uh, i am just keeping this simple and uh, third partition i does not enter anything then uh, moving forward i will just show the consumer group like uh, if you does not uh, provide any consumer group then automatic it will create its own consumer group then we begin this command Yeah, this is, it does not able to find this. This was a under the score, and I have just given only one. Then it is intelligent enough to provide you with the help button. Then it created button to move. Then it also get thing uh, always come when you do uh, something silly or uh, are you are not sure? Then uh, it will provide you. Uh, the details uh, like what you are missing and in this way we can always go and find a tissue then it be fine to say the offset detail then this is the comma then just see Uh, when you uh, uh, move back to the producer or consumer, they they totally forward back. And when you read uh, come here, you find that uh, in partition zero there is a two, partition two do, and partition one is zero. Then you see that this is a forward message, and it is written on the which offset. It uh, then uh, Kafka itself is having that command line tools like uh, Kafka run that class back. Which uh, all these uh, different command where in this uh, bin window, uh, if somebody want to explore, he can open the batch file. He can do that. But if you don't want to explore, you just want to learn command, then you can do with this. And uh, uh, always like uh, each is uh, is having different way of learning, like uh, which approach you use. It always helps you, but. Uh, Uh, it require all the engineers to master the basic part of it understand and it help to solve the problem uh, coming back to this like uh, i just cover this output and uh, i just want to recap for that like uh, today what we learned we learned that uh, architecture and different component what are the features it is there Uh, producer and consumer, uh, message partition, uh, log implementation. We learn. Uh, we learn security. We learn uh, installation, and uh, we see the hands-on. Then 
this will be there in the YouTube, like uh, Arvin will be sharing in that. If you want to learn, you can always move forward. Uh, moving forward, like uh, some of the reference article, I just put in this repeat and you can go through to go into the board deep inside. And uh, last point, like uh, uh, it, uh, we have to always look for the learning. Learning mind can only uh, bring better India, better world, and we can develop the better product. And uh, uh, thanks a lot, everyone. If somebody is having any questions, I can take some of the questions. Erwin, any questions is there? Uh, uh, people, yeah. people can ask directly. Uh, anyone has a question? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, Indrajit, I have one question. Uh, can uh, you regarding... Lord? Hello. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I have just uh, one use case. Like uh, suppose I want to manage uh, uh, state in uh, topics like uh, read and unread. Okay. Uh, suppose Your I put. Your voice is very low. Could you a bit louder? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is is audible? No. Yes. And let me yeah. just put that here from the give me one. Yeah. Yeah. So suppose I want to uh, manage state in topic like read and unread. Yeah. Okay read messages and unread messages. So how, how I can uh, do that, that? Can you please explain that? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, like uh, we are having this uh, uh, producer and consumers, like uh, uh, you will have that uh, producer and uh, when you write any data, then it will go to the clusters. In our demo, we seen that uh, we created our topic uh, uh, Java demo. Then all the data will be going that, and in the consumer application, we are reading that. Uh, similar to that, like uh, you can write your consumer application because uh, uh, this is provided by the Kafka, but on your specific uh, um, your requirement, then you will do that. Then it will keep on and reading the message, whatever the message it is stored in the topic. And uh, your topic detail, uh, like consumer offset is there, and it will uh, find that how much message it has read. And when you again start that consumer, then where you left previously, it will read from that. Means, means you, uh, we, we are able to give the tag uh, to the messages, or uh, we need yeah. to store that uh, uh, read messages to the separate partition there is no partition just see uh, here uh, like uh, just digest something uh, like uh, just see, here i given this uh, partition if you want mm -hmm. to create you can one partition i created a topic java demo then uh, when you are reading that in the consumer application or when you write your customized application then you can read that then internally Kafka will do that for you and it will work for you. Just try to work on that. If STD have the issue, you can always ping Erwin or I am also there in the LinkedIn. You can ping me also. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Iqbal, go ahead. Your question. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, this is Iqbal. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, it works. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mostly use AWS, so I uh, see it's similar to SNS. Um, I just have a couple of questions. So in one of the slide I saw uh, the limit is uh, 1 million messages per second, right? So is that uh, per topic or uh, per instance of the Kafka? Uh, it is uh, not a topic limitation is there. Like uh, uh, when you say limit, like uh, or you can say the topic also, that is also good. Uh, you can always increase that equal like uh, that. Uh, 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 Neha Kakkar, who is the co-founder uh, of the Confluent, uh, they say that the limit can be increased uh, and it is on the particular topic what you told that you can uh, go up to billions also now. Uh, this is from the 
Kafka internal. In the Kafka internal, they does not mention that, but they say that when you create a clusters and uh, uh, now that uh, we are getting the machine with the high level, and if you increase the RAM size, like just see, developer RAM size is 8 GB. If I make RAM 16 GB, then application will be faster. Then you can increase that equal. I hope so. It answer your question. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I just have a couple of other questions also. Uh, do we have uh, a support of uh, message filtering on the topic? Something like if the message contains this, uh, send it to this set of uh, targets. Um, uh, yes. Uh, for that, uh, uh, you have to write your customized uh, uh, consumer application. You have got a uh, on the basis of partition. What the question you asked? most of the engineer question is that and if you google it you can get the code also uh, available uh, in the google as a chat gpt and you can do that uh, kafka uh, what is the beauty of kafka is that like uh, i will just take one minute Yeah, what the beauty of Kafka is that just see it is given that it has given library. They have given that producer and consumers uh, power to developer, and they say that you can configure in parameter. And just to make sure that you can digest the things properly, if you start here, uh, this is your uh, then. Just see, uh, you have got many like uh, 100 to 200 uh, attributes. What attribute it need to change that uh, on the basis of your requirement? Uh, if you Google up, you get that detail equal. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, how how does failure case handling uh, happens here? Like, let's say uh, a message is undelivered to uh, some uh, consumer uh, for like two or three days. So, what happens to that message? I just say. Uh, here failure is uh, uh, very uh, like they have a, uh, uh, what is the retry policy is there in the Kafka when you write that code uh, how much want to try like retry for five times two times or uh, they have got in sync replica ISR or uh, like fire and forget acknowledgement with some parameter uh, you can easily handle the failure and uh, uh, in the features I have talked about item potent. Then you can do that message cannot be lost any time. And now it is used in the banking sector also it was. Then I hope so if you do a bit of Google and my answer. And still if you have got a question, you can connect me on the link. Or you can connect with Darwin it was. Sure, sure. Just one last question. So how do we integrate this with the AWS services? Uh, what you told, I was working on the AWS. I was running in the Kafka. Then uh, uh, a topic is created. Then I was pushing the data in the S3. In the S3, like you got a Redshift database. Then uh, in the uh, once the data is, you have got a data handler, and you can do with that multiple component. And if you go to that S3 AWS documentation, you will get a good number of documents to start you. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Any further questions from the audience? Uh, yes, uh, I have one question is like uh, regarding about the previous question. Uh, suppose uh, I put 10 messages in the topic. OK, and uh, I, I read the seventh message. OK, so Kafka is uh, uh, read all messages uh, in a sequential manner. OK, uh, and uh, after uh, reading seventh message, uh, the uh, Kafka set offset on eight, eight message, right? But uh, I have suppose I have a use case like uh, I, I want to read uh, randomly messages. Uh, suppose I read a seventh message, then other one to six messages also uh, the uh, unread state. So how how I can do in in Kafka? Just say uh, yeah. Coming back to your question, like uh, Kafka has uh, given all the power to you. Your good name, Sagar. Yeah. 
Sagar, Kafka has given all the power to you as a consumer. When you write that consumer application, then uh, on the basis of that, uh, within a partition, the message is in the sequence. Kafka clearly talked about that. Uh, in the topic, all the message is not in the sequence, within the partition. Uh, that's why when I given the demo, I was saying just he is India and India. Uh, India and India, it matches going this, then this will be in the sequence. And coming back to you, like you want to read the random message, then uh, you write your own customized consumer application where you can increase or decrease the offset or the current offset. Uh, Kafka has given all that attribute to you and you can do so. Other. Like you okay. just need to a bit uh, Google and you can do that yourself. Okay, okay, so we will need to manage uh, in the consumer side. Yeah, Kafka beauty is that like, uh, just see, if somebody does not know, it become very fearful, like when I can write my consumer application or when I started learning Kafka, I was also having same fear, uh, new technology, so many attributes, so something to digest. But uh, when you start crawling and after crawling, when you start uh, walking and after walking, you start running. Then that is for all the technology and uh, yes, learning curve is there, but uh, that is with all the technology. That's why like the people like Erwin and uh, are coming and like uh, helping the community to share and gain the knowledge each other. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, sir. So this is Arvind. When you are uh, writing a consumer application, do we uh, specify it to read a topic, or do we say read a specific partition? How is it uh, normally written? Yes, yeah. just say when you write a topic, uh, when you write a consumer application, you define a topic. But sometime, like uh, uh, Iqbal has asked a question in that time, I will just cover Iqbal answer to your question. Then sometimes you want that uh, uh, some of the topic, you want to read the particular topic, you does not want to read the other topic. Suppose that uh, G20 summit is coming and in India, then I want to read the uh, partition from the India, then you can always write that code especially to the partition, but by default Kafka will read the, all the topics. But any time the power is with you, uh, power is with the developer Erwin, then you uh, you need to become a bit of your hand dirty to do that again. Thank you. Yeah. Any further questions? So anything beyond Kafka these days, you know, it is still used extensively, or do you think there are competition for Kafka? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I have met you personally also again and uh, like you know that uh, uh, there is many competition like uh, pulsar come into the picture and uh, many other technology come into the picture but uh, kafka is that it is uh, evolving itself like uh, uh, as my friend ikwal has told like he's working on the space then kafka is also evolving itself and like uh, uh, that's why like uh, if you see I will just go back to the slide for one minute. Yeah, Jukeeper, to make the application run fastest and equal like to uh, process more than trillion of the message, they want to reduce the latency time. And in this way, uh, Kafka internal engineering team, they are working uh, on the new problem ahead of the time. And for the time being like, uh, uh, the power is with the distributed and uh, Kafka was the yearly baby for the distributed environment and it is helping to solve the problem. Uh, that's why you see that Kafka streaming is there, uh, Kafka connector is there. They say like uh, many people, they doesn't want to write the code. You just take the connector, uh, just do five to 10 minute chat GPT and you develop your application. You does not need to know the application. Then Kafka is uh, uh, working with this mindset uh, uh, and currently competition is there, but Kafka is also moving with that competition. Okay, thank you so much.
That's great. Uh, any further questions? Okay, so thank you, uh, Indrajit, for such a wonderful session. You started with an introduction to Kafka, covering the features, and also giving a background the kind of problems Kafka is solving or trying to solve. And then you made it more interesting by showing a hands-on demo, uh, which would have given people a better understanding of how Kafka works. So those of you in the audience new to Kafka, I hope you have benefited from this talk. And uh, not only that, I hope you are inspired by what uh, Indrajit has presented. So all you need to do is to go ahead and try it out on your own uh, systems. He has shown that even on a laptop, you can install and run it. So I think uh, that is something you can go ahead and try. So a recording of this video will be available on YouTube shortly. So you can check that out as well. Uh, anything you want to add, Indrajit? Thanks for that session. Yeah, uh, I will uh, really appreciate. Like, uh, I will just take one minute. Like, I met Tarvin uh, in one of the the Kafka seminar, which was given by the Chuhan. And uh, I always wanted to do this, but Tarvin uh, has given the opportunity. And uh, I request all the members uh, who is joining there try to expose yourself, try to remove your fear. And if you want to be like uh, uh, achievers in your life, uh, then try to uh, start presenting uh, within the group or uh, within the community. And it, uh, and it helps a lot. And I really appreciate the people who ask the question. And the people who not ask the question, uh, try to ask the question, some of the questions. It may be dummy questions, but uh, uh, never under, underestimate the power of a common man than power of a question. And thanks a lot, Arvind. Have a